Hello everyone, today I'm going to convert my state space representation into a transfer function representation. Uh, we all know that state space representation is the representation of our system in time domain and transfer function is the representation of our system in the frequency domain or in the S domain. Uh, I, in this video, I am going to derive an expression that will relate my state space to the transfer function. Okay. Uh, I have written these two equations. These two equations are uh, the representation of my state space. The first equation is the state equation and the other one is the output equation. Uh, this y is an output. x dot means the derivative term of our x. Now x is a state vector. x is a state vector and x dot represents the derivative of our state vector with respect to time. a is over in, a is over system matrix, b is over input matrix, c is an output matrix and d is a feedback matrix. Okay. To proceed, I am going to take the Laplace transform of my equation number one. Now we all know that the Laplace transform of our derivative term equals S into capital X of S. Now this S is raised to the power one because I have first derivative here. If uh, I have got second derivative, then I will write S square into X of S, okay? Equals to A into X of S plus b into u of s. Now this is my x of s term, this is my x of s term, combining both these x of s terms, I will get s minus a into x of s equals to b u of s. Solving for x of s term, x of s equals s minus a to the inverse and b u of s. Now, uh, here is a mistake that uh, A is a system matrix, but S is not a matrix. So I can't subtract a number or a scalar, which is not a matrix, from a matrix. So to make this S a matrix, I'm going to multiply it with an I, which is an identity matrix. And identity matrix has the same order as our system matrix. Because, okay, because we know that uh, same order, because we know that the matrices of the same order can uh, add and subtract from each other. So this is my expression for x of s. This is my expression for x of s. I'm going to put this expression of x of s from this equation into my output equation. Now we clearly know that this is a representation of our system in the state space, which is a time domain representation. Here x is not x of s, it's x of t. To make this x x of s, I'm going to take the Laplace transform of this equation number two. So the Laplace transform of my equation number two gives me y of s equals to c into x of s plus d into u of s. Okay, substitute the value of x of s from here into this equation. y of s equals c into s i minus a to the inverse x of s. Oops, sorry d u of s plus d u of s. Okay, this is my first term, this is my second term. Factorizing out u of s, I will get c into si minus a to the inverse b plus d and then u of s. Here I have got y of s. Take this y of s, u of s from right hand side to the left hand side y of s divided by u of s equals c into si minus a to the inverse b plus d. So this is my final equation which relates my transfer function with the state space because we know that the definition of a transfer function says that the Laplace transform of our, of our output to the Laplace transform of our input. Now we know that y of s is an output, is the Laplace transform of our of over output because here I have told you that y is an output variable. Okay, so the Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input is the transfer function which relates my transfer function with the state space equation. Okay, C is over C is an output matrix, A is a system matrix, B is a C, B is a in B is an input matrix, and D is an D is a feedback matrix. Okay, so finding all these values and put it into this formula 
will give me the representation of my transfer function. So that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching.